Welcome to a tutorial on how to set up a 1.2.5 bucket server. Uh, this is relatively simple if you just follow the steps, uh, but I'll probably be doing a series on this of how to set up plugins and make sure they work. Uh, so keep watching, subscribe, and hope this helps. Um, first of all, uh, you'll realize why you need this later, but I use Notepad. Plus uh, plus for editing uh, the plugins that you get, and I've lost connection to my internet. Sorry about that. Um, for editing the plugins, this is a really easy way to do it. Uh, so you just go onto the Notepad Plus Plus website. There'll be a link to this in the description, uh, and download the Notepad Plus Plus installer, and then install, and then open it. I'm not going to do this because I already have it installed on my computer so it's not necessary uh, but I recommend that you get this as it would help but first of all you want to go to your Google and search bucket and then go on the bucketforums.org um, then wait for the web page to load up right there we go okay and scroll down a little bit and you should see recommended builds and you want to click the top one, which is the latest recommended build for Mon uh, Minecraft, and the internet's gone down again. <sighs> okay, sorry. And you should get to this page. There will also be a link in the description for here. Uh, so this is the recommended build. So download that, and then don't worry about this. It does. It's not infectious or anything. It just comes up as default as my Windows is a bit wary of what I'm downloading. But then download this, and then minimize. Go to your desktop and create a new folder this is where all of the all of your server information will be stored I keep it on my desktop just because I know where it is then you can name it whatever you want but I'm just going to call it bucket test so I know this is for you guys and not my actual server then open it up and then go back to the internet and then wait for the bucket server to download <sighs> Right, okay, almost downloaded. Once this is downloaded, you want to drag it or place it wherever you get it from your downloads into the bucket test folder on your desktop. And then you want to go to uh, Notepad and copy this from the description, this code here, from the description into a uh, Notepad. Right, okay, I'm just going to run you through this quickly. Um, this little bit here is the amount of uh, RAM that your oh, sorry, that your server is allocated from your computer. And I'm just going to set that to 1 because I've got my Apple server running at the moment and I don't want that to affect um, that server. This here is the name of the, uh, the file, the jar, that you'll try and specify uh, for your craft bucket to find. So this here needs to be changed to correspond with what we're telling it to look for. And as you can see, it's different. It just ends with craft bucket, and this has a little crap on the end. So change that down just to craft bucket. And then file, save as this onto my desktop. And find where all of your, your bucket folder is. Mine's here. And save it as start. Dot bat. The bat needs to be at the end because that's the file type that it runs, so just keep that, uh, close that. Right, yours shouldn't do this, mine's going to come up with could not bind port because I've got my other one running, so I'm just going to go into the server properties quickly. Sorry about this, I probably should close my other one, but that would annoy lots of other people that are playing so when you start for the first time it should load everything you'll get a few warning and fails because it hasn't got the um, ban list the IP list or the ops list but that will create that and the next time you run it you won't have um, warnings or fails this is just preparing your actual world and then preparing your nether and then preparing your end and it should say done so I'm just going to stop that and wait for it to save chunks and then continue. Right, here we have the folders which 
make up your uh, bucket. Here we have the plugins. As I said, well, I'll be doing many more videos on how to install plugins. The only one that I'll be showing today is uh, permissions, as it's probably the biggest one. But obviously, it won't be much help to you unless you install the other ones. So please continue watching. The world folder, which contains the data for the world, and the world never, which contains the data for you never, and the end. The band IPs, this can be set in game or here. You can band players. Uh, this is the setup of the bucket folder. The export jar, the help, which comes in the game, uh, the OPs, you can set this so you can opt yourself or use the permissions. This permissions here is not as good as the permissions plugin, so leave that for now. The server text document and the server folder properties. You can start, which will you'll use to start your server up and the whitelist. So at the moment, you're gonna go into the server properties folder and run you through all this. You can set this to change from default, but at the moment, the way it's set up, it's completely fine. So at the moment, we can allow it never. Uh, it can't allow flight. We're not letting players fly as it's a survival server. Your port should be the default one, which is 25565. I've set mine to this because I've got my other server running. Uh, IP seed. This can be, you can put a seed in here if you want to change the, uh, the world of your Minecraft. Um, your server IP, which... Uh, I would leave blank unless um, you change unless uh, you're running Hamachi, but this is how to port forward, so don't have to worry about that. It will look for this over IP. Uh, NCPs, the villages, spawn them. I've got that true just so you can have other villages in. Spawn animals, yep. Online mode, this has to be set to true if you want people to join. PvP, I want this to enable to false because I don't want people to hit each other because then just bullying occurs. Difficulty is set to 1, it's the standard, it's kind of not too hard but not too easy. Game mode 0, so survival, we don't want any players using creative, apart from the admins. Max player is set to 20, this is um, default as well, because I've only allowed it to have 1 gigabyte of RAM. If you put any more than that, you have to allocate the more RAM, uh, but we'll go into that later. So monsters, yep. Generate structures, yep. Viewing distance 10, and this is what will come up, this a Minecraft server, is what will come up when someone searches for your... Uh, my Minecraft server in Minecraft, so we're going to change that to Pim's server and save. Okay, um, so let's go into the plugins. The plugin I'm going to be showing today is quite a, quite a big plugin, but is necessary. And as I said, it's not much help unless you have the other other plugins. So please carry on watching. Um, the rest of my videos to find out more about plugins. You want to go to the bucket website and go for permissions X, this one here, and then wait for the page to load. You go to the dev bucket as that is the one that's most recently updated, and then go to the download. There's lots of um, information on the bucket dev website, but there's too much to run through, so I'm not going to bother. There will be a link to the description. In, sorry, in the description for this, uh, and then hit download, and then it should download the zip file with all the permissions uh, jars in it. So if you want to go into your permissions, I mean plugins, using the old uh, Windows Snap function, and then open the zip file, drag the jars that are just downloaded from the permissions into your bucket test plugins folder and then start the server it should say permissions x initializing modify world and chat manager that's all done and if you put if you type in plugins it should say the plugins that we're running permissions x modify world and chat manager so i'm just going to stop that for now okay i'm going to close this i'm just going to free up a little bit of space get rid of that minimize that right okay so we now have the folders for the free plugins. Uh, the one that I'm going to be showing you of how to use is Missions X, as these ones are both set up default and really you don't need to change them. This is the big one. Uh, right, this is how you can allocate uh, different members of your Minecraft community, like admins, moderators, default, people like that. You can do all of this in game, uh, but that's quite hard. 
uh, you can do this all by freehand by adding another group. Uh, just, I don't know. We had another group here uh, called. We'll name it Tim's or something. Uh, but because the YML folders are so case sensitive, you have to have it all set out exactly how it likes, and that's rather hard. So I use a commissions uh, YML helper online. Uh, the link will be in the description, so that's not really a problem for you finding it. And this is an easy way to do the permissions. So it's already got up admins default and moderators, so that's all fine. Uh, so I'm just going to create a new group just to show that it does work. And if you didn't want these names, you can just create new groups. Name this one Tim's. Allow it to build. Inherit. This is where it gets permission 